Hi everybody, I'm Darius Owens, and I want to talk to y'all about the love of basketball around the world. Uh, so it started off around, it started spreading around the world and during the World War War, and everybody could play the game, it was open to everybody. Um, not a lot of females played it back then, and it wasn't really open to them at that time, but I decided to progress over the years. It became, it became a bigger sport to everybody. Um, it became popular, as you can tell. It how is going on in the Olympics, basketball, and that girls can play it too in the Olympics, I'm pretty sure. And that's it right there. Um, so how I see basketball, uh, it's growing, it's getting pretty big and pretty popular around the world. Um, there's a lot of foreigners that's come to the United States that's played basketball from where they're from, like Europe and uh, Alaska and all places like that. Um, some countries take it seriously. They have not, like their uh, bigger teams, like we have our team USA, and they have like their team China and stuff like that. So they're growing the bigger teams. Um, it's more than a sport to us basketball players. So like, if you go to a basketball player from another country, I'm pretty sure they will give y'all information over there and how they feel about basketball, how they have love for the game. And there was a video I watched, so I can put some information up here, but I didn't. Um, there was a lot of foreigners that really had love for the game that they played for a reason because they had like, bigger dreams and it would be important for them to make it big come out of their country. And so it was very important to other, uh, other people across, across the world. Um, basketball brings a lot of people together. Uh, I've seen former, uh, foreigners from AAU teams come from China and uh, Mexico, and it brought them together. It brings a lot of uh, a lot of brotherhood out of people. Um, foreign leagues to bring and make, give kids opportunities to make it big, give them dreams. Seeing that players from their country is doing big things and they're getting paid and they get to come to the United States to go out their talents. Um, the attention for basketball around the world, it doesn't really get streamed a lot on TV. Um, and I'm kind of sad about that because I love basketball and I like watching basketball. Um, it doesn't have the big players like LeBron James, Stephen Curry, and as my favorite player, James Harden. It doesn't have that many uh, major people, but people from the NBA do travel across the world to play in these, uh, to play other countries. Um, some foreigners that's in our league today actually go back to their countries and play for their team in the Olympics. And that's pretty cool to me right there. Um, and really, and like I said, the only time you see for basketball is during the Olympics. Um, basketball across the world is evolving. I said that earlier. Um, making it to the pro leagues from other players across the country is really is really big to them. Um, I think that experiencing the basketball culture from other countries and then Seeing our basketball culture from the United States is really different. It's kind of hard to compare, I think, but it's getting it's getting kind of good. Uh, um, in this picture right here, he stands at one of the tallest tallest foreigners that played in the NBA. Um, there's others, but as you see, it's China right here, and they have, uh, I forgot what, I forgot what they that. Oh, um, then here is the foreign league. You can tell that, uh, they don't have the same arenas as we do. It's kind of smaller. It's like, yeah, it's not really that big. And then the basketballs are different, and it's also, um, got their league up there. The F I B A, yeah. And
Are there any questions from me? Yes. Uh, what's the what's the pay difference like from European players to I know it's they still make a good dent, but I doubt it's the same amount. Uh, that's a good question. I can't really repeat your question because it was long. But um, I don't really know the pay difference for real. I know it's, it's a major difference from uh, overseas and from here. Uh, I know we get paid a lot. They don't really get that much, that much uh, for what they do. They just give a place to stay. And then they have a salary to live through, live off of through the time they start, the time they have to go back home. Um, and then they give them enough money to eat and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, any, any other questions? Yeah. Thank you. And I'll be Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.